I must have missed uh, a, a recent uh, period in history because the last time I looked, China had the opposite problem. They had bought up all the uh, United States debt. Everybody was asking them to devalue their currency because they were too flush in American dollars. And now you're telling us they have a debt problem. Yeah, no, uh, can, you, can you explain that? Yeah, great question, Gerhard. So one of the things I didn't go into detail on, on one of the reasons why the, the debt issue in China you know, is a solvable issue right now is the fact that they have a lot of corporate debt, but they have very low government debt. And, and that's what you see uh, with them buying up treasury bills. And basically what, what that is, is they have, because they run a, a current account surplus, they have to do something with that money. And so investing in US treasuries is one of the, the places where they have to put it to work. So one of the, the, the ideas is if, from a, a, on a corporate debt point of view, if, if the companies in China and the banking system runs into problems, the central government has the ability to bail them out. So, you know, from an overall debt point of view, China is not as in as uh, bad a shape as you would see maybe in the US or, or definitely in Europe. So it, it's, I, I think the real issue is that with the slowing economy, it just means that you're gonna have another cycle of investment where the corporations add even more debt and eventually that's gotta end. But I, it's not something I would expect to happen in the next year or two.